Well, we're at the beginning of October and uh, it's forecast, it, although it's lovely today, it's probably about 17 degrees. We've had, it's been a bit of an Indian summer, I suppose, in a way. Um, it's forecast um, to change. We're going to get, uh, well, I'm not sure what we're going to get, but it said there's a change coming for this this week. Now, as you can see, I've still got lots of flowers out. But what I need to start thinking about is, is the longer, you know, thinking ahead. And I need to uh, try and get on top of this while the weather's still good. So what I want to do is clear the, clear, well, I want to clear this bed here, which was the annuals plus the dahlias, and, um, and get them stored away for, uh, before I might not feel like coming out on air, you know, and as I said it all along, during the, there's, there's a period maybe from sort of November, December, in November and December I kind of take a little bit of a break and uh, I'll, sp I'll spend more time on my painting. And when it comes to January, I'm starting to think about sowing seeds. Uh, this year I didn't actually sow any until March. Next year I might, I might, uh, there might be certain things what I need to sow earlier, so, you know, we'll have to see about that. Um, but anyway, so I thought, well, I, I better get, although there's a lot of nice blooms and that here, I need, need to take the opportunity to, uh, to get things tidied up so I'm, I'm, so I don't feel as though I'm overladen with work when I don't really want it. Right, so I'm going to crack on. I'm going to start on this corner here and start pulling things up. Um, obviously the dahlias are going to be stored for next year. Not particularly, I don't particularly like the white ones so I'm probably going to give that one away. Um, Although, having said that, it probably looks nice, it'll look nice next to another colour, pink or something, so we'll, we'll see. I'll label it up. Now, the cornflowers folks is uh, beautiful and these um, what are they called I can't remember the name is it calendula or something like that along that lines um, definitely something I'll be growing next year and something I highly recommend you growing because both of those give you colours for, for months over there I've, you'll see that in a minute I've still got loads of these um, you know plant flowers and that are still out um, but they've been great. So anyway, I know that these are annual beds apart from the dahlias, so I don't need to worry about pulling anything else up. I, I mean, I, I don't need to um, panic because um, I know every, what's in here, apart from the dahlias, it's fine to be pulled up. I hope you can still see me down there, down there. Seems to be a day of chopping my head off. Now, obviously, the calendula and the cornflowers and some of the others, they'll self seed. So, you know, we're hoping that there's going to be lots of uh, seeds coming up for next year but having said that I, I'm not too fussed because I have got um, plenty of seed which has come on the magazines I'm a little nervous of working near this area because just over there we've got the wasp nest and they're still there. Right. 
That's a dahlia, so that's got to be put separate. Deal with that in a minute. I think it's going to help if I go and get my secateurs. Bit of a sad time, folks, but it's uh, it's it's time to think about for next year. And, uh, it's not going to be long until the spring. And, uh, I know that this just doing this little bit will help. I'm going to switch the camera off now because I think it's too boring for you to see me do this whole lot. But I'll show you um, when I've finished it. Forgot to say, folks, uh, here's the area what I've cleared. And there's all the rubbish that needs to be burnt. Okay, well, while we're on doing this film, let's just show you inside the tunnel. 
these are those primroses what I transplanted and some polyanthus. Just wanted them to um, grow a bit more so they've got a chance to grow in here. Um, probably not ideal because uh, they do like it cooler to grow but it's going to cool down soon and uh, I think they'll be okay. Got a few round carrots down there hiding under the dahlias which are there. They were ones which I'd left over and I didn't want to put them to waste so I've grown them in here and I just wanted to see whether they would grow and they have done. They're looking lovely aren't they? Um, so at least this way I've got the tubers um, so I can grow them outside next year. These were all the first lot of strawberry plants, the runners, what I potted on um, a long, long time ago now. And I saw these here, and you can see they've, they've made nice, strong plants. And they should give us some uh, early strawberries in here next year. These are all the perennials, what I never got around to putting into the ground. Um, I don't really know what they are, all are, but one kind chap did tell me what one or two was. I'll have to look back on my videos to see. Um, but we've got all sorts of things in here, as you can see. In fact, I suppose I ought to make some sort of um, photographic reference so I know what they are for when I plant them out next year, if they survive, that is. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't they? It's beautiful. I do, I can see that we've got some snapdragons in here, so obviously they're an annual, so. And we've got uh, more down here. A few dahlias. There's a couple of Logan berries in here, what um, I was in a rush to get out away and um, I forgot about them, so I stuck them in here. Then I forgot to water, so. Um, it's unlikely that they'll survive, but they'll have a chance and we'll see. That's basically it folks, that's all that's going on in my tunnel now. As I say, I don't tend to grow stuff over winter. Um, because I've got other things to get on with and that's my break. Um, it may change in the, in the, you know, at some time in the future, but for now, that's the way things are. Okay, thanks for watching.